What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video on Scoop's World and this is your boy Scoop. And today we have episode number two of our series called Mount Rushmore. Now the first episode was LSU's football players. If you ain't checked that video out, go ahead and check it out. It was a bunch of rich tradition going on at LSU and it was hard to pick four players, but we did it. And I feel like we did a great job here in Scoop's World. Now today we have Oklahoma. Now. If you know Oklahoma, they got some ballers. There's only four spots in Mount Rushmore. And it was hard. It was hard. Keep in mind, we're only doing from the year 2000 and up. But it was still hard. Think about it. There's been a lot of Heisman winners in Oklahoma. And a lot of Heisman winners got left off the list. So sit back, relax, like up the video, subscribe to the channel, and get ready to debate because a lot of feelings are going to get hurt. Stay tuned. Whose world is this? The world is yours. The world is yours. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Whose world? <sighs> like I said, who was on the Mount Rushmore of Oklahoma's football players? It was hard. Not really. We got the right list. A bunch of certified athletes on my list of Mount Rushmore. All right? Coming in at the number one spot, I have Roy Williams, DB. Now, Roy will go down as one of the most unique players in college football history, let alone in OU. He quickly became known for his punishing brutal tackles and was the most feared player of his time. As only a sophomore, Roy Williams was a starter for the 2000 National Championship team and set a school record for tackle for loss by a defensive back with 12. That's a lot of the tackles for loss for a defensive back. His junior campaign saw more of the same bone crushing display of power, earning him the Nagorski Award, which is for the top defensive player in the country, along with the Jim Thorpe Award, which is for the top defensive back. So he's racking up trophies. He will always be tied to the most spectacular play in Sooner history, the Superman play. There isn't a respectable man from Oklahoma without a mural of this play hanging on this wall depicting Williams flying through the air. Coming in at Oklahoma's number two spot for Mount Rushmore, we have our first quarterback, Sam Bradford. Slinging Sam is one of the best examples of how little recruiting stars mean. A three-star recruit coming out of high school in Oklahoma City, Sam quietly followed his father's footsteps and earned a scholarship at OU. Things didn't stay quiet for long as the redshirt freshman won a six-man quarterback competition over other higher rated recruits before the 2007 season. In his first game, Sam went 21 for 23 for 363 yards in the first half. Yeah. Oh, you thought I was going to say the whole game? No. First half. Breaking Josh Hipu's record. In his next game, he broke another record. He broke Jason White's consecutive completion record with 22 straight strikes. This was textbook foreshadowing as Sam will go on to rewrite the OU and NCAA record books. In 2008, Sam won the Heisman Trophy while leading the highest scoring offense in NCAA history with 4,720 yards and 50 touchdowns and only 8 interceptions. He had everything you could want in the quarterback, pinpoint accuracy, superior arm strength, and a bucket of intangibles the size of a memorial. Sam Bradford, your certified athlete. Coming in at the number 3 spot. Adrian Peterson all day. Adrian came to Norman as one of the most hyped recruits in Oklahoma's history and as a freshman lived up to the hype. Now all day, which is his nickname, broke off one of the best freshman seasons for a running back of all time in 2004, setting records for most rushing attempts 314, 100 yard rushing games 11, including 9 straight while rushing for 1,860 yards and 15 touchdowns. Did I mention he was only a freshman? His performance against Texas that year was legendary, showing up Cedric Benson with 225 yards and a 12-0 win for the Sooners. 
Did I mention he was a freshman? He almost became the first freshman to win the Heisman Trophy, but finished second to Matt Liner in 2004. Now, I probably gave it to all day. Or Reggie Bush. But, Matt Liner, whatever. Injuries hamper what could have been an all-time career for the powerful back, but he still left us with an impressive string of highlights, including my favorite in these videos that we just watched. Adrian Peterson, certified athlete, in the last spot for the Mount Rushmore of Oklahoma's football program. It was tough. We had Baker. But Baker he got beat out by one other quarterback, Jason White. Now, Jason White, or as I like to call him, the bionic man, battled back from reconstructive surgeries on both his knees to become the first quarterback in OU history to win the Heisman Trophy in 2003. That same year, he plastered his name all over the OU record books, picking up where Josh Heapew left off. He was incredibly accurate, leading the nation in passing efficiency, and setting an OU record with 16 consecutive completions in the game. You just knew that every time he wound up, the ball was going right where it needed to be. Jason White, he earned that last spot on OU's Mount Rushmore of football players. Go ahead and comment below your thoughts on these four players. I think it's hard. I mean, you got these bigger names now, but the tradition of OU is crazy. Roy Williams, certified athlete. Sam Bradford, certified athlete. All day Adrian Peterson, certified athlete. And Jason White. Come on. Come on. Put in the comments how I do. I think I did good. I think I did good. Comment below with your thoughts. Who's your Mount Rushmore OU's football program? Like up the video. Subscribe to the channel. And also comment below what school you want to see next. I'm having fun with this with this little um, series. A Mount Rushmore series. Because there's a lot of rich tradition for a lot of different football programs in our country. And um, I'm having a great time. So comment below your thoughts. Comment below who you want to see next. But um, yeah, man, I'm having a great time. I hope you guys are too. Um, but until next time.